Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Turn Right Machine Works. My name is Keith, and we're in here at the Walling Bench once again. Now, this is part four, What's in Your Box, Toolbox Giveaway 2017. This will be the last video of us opening up uh, things that are going to be in this year's Toolbox Giveaway. And uh, in the next, next video here, you'll see Vanessa and I and all the tools in the boxes that we are going to give away this year. So we've, this has come in, most of it since uh, I took my trip to the Cape Verde Islands and I came back and there was a big pile on the uh, counter inside the house there and, and of course I had a few on the floor and just today I got a couple more including this big one that's, that's here in the center of the table. Alright, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's, let's, let's cover a couple things here first. One uh on the 15th we we cut off the nominations for the giveaway i did receive one on the 16th and i was just posting them this morning and i went ahead and included them in there uh and it's it was close enough and it was within the time limit uh so i just i, I allowed it to be in there i'm not going to say which person it was um so we have 13 nominations now and I'm gonna go ahead and just go quickly down the list and I'll put their name up here on the screen Jonathan Biggs Adam Carmichael Jacob Hanlon Edward Sobolewski Greg Chester Matthew Look James Gunliff Andrew Scott Anderson, Michael Kerrigan, Peyton Dean, Daniel Moses, Dakota Swain, Spencer Clayton. I hope I did okay on the pronunciation of everybody's name. If not, I wrote it up there and you've got the, you've got the message. All right, these are 13 nominations and I have them listed on my YouTube in a playlist but I also have them on my website and each one of them has their own page with their written nomination along with their video nomination and some of them have other pictures and uh, other topics that they wanted to include in on their page alright now everybody that has donated or sent in a tool or box for the giveaway and or all of those who have sent in sponsorships, either uh, by uh, mail or right on my webpage, up at the upper right-hand side is a sponsorship. Anybody during the whole year that has given me a sponsorship or right now, if you go to that uh, website, my website, uh, turnrightmachineworks.com, and you go up there and you sponsor... Uh, uh, an amount it doesn't matter what it is um, you are eligible to be a judge for this year's toolbox giveaway plus all former um, judges from each year prior are allowed to send me in their judgment what I'm looking for as far as the judgment to be sent in for the nominations is a list of three you send me in your list of three nominations. Now, if you only send me in one, I'm going to discard it. I want three. You can have one, two, three, or any a random order, whatever you want, as long as you have three nominations listed in. Uh, and you can send that in to my email at turnrightmachine at comcast.net. All right. So there's a, the nominations and the judging. And judging is open from this point on I'll receive any judging I actually had a couple people that have gone on vacation and they went ahead and they've already sent in their judgment and uh, and then I'll tally them all up and then Vanessa and I put those together and then I add in my one my one vote there and then we come up with the conclusion and we'll we'll be sharing that with you when we have the grand finale video all right um, this uh, this was a, uh, a letter here, and this is a uh, sponsorship, and, and 
here's 50 bucks to help me with the shipping it it cost me quite a bit to ship out tools every year and it's just as important as those who send in the tools to be shipped out uh, dear Keith and Vanessa I have uh, viewed the Kermit nominees and uh, blah 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 um, hope you have a great time with your friend and catch lots of yellowtail um, that was uh, I was out fishing when I got this and uh, your friend Don Don Dotson from from Oregon thank you very much uh, Don for the uh, the money to go help me uh, uh, do the shipping and everything else and uh, and he also he says uh, uh, if I know where I can find any parts list for ex or exploded views of the Sheldon Lays please let me know so anybody that has uh, any of that I I think I had a Sheldon book for the Sheldon Lay that I had I may have given that away with the 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 lathe, but I did find that online, and I think I put Sheldon lathe, uh, what was it, ten inch, twelve inch uh, PDF, and uh, sometimes that helped. If you put type in PDF after your search, most of the time that'll give you a uh, a book or or a drawing on it, and that's that's helped me quite a bit. But uh, I'll take a look at that, uh, Don, and and see what I can find. So thank you very much for the uh, the sponsorship there and the help with the uh, the sending. All right, and also too, this just came in with this box here. I've gotten, I have received several uh, birthday cards from from viewers, and uh, and this one here just came in with this box. And uh, thinking of you on your birthday, always uh, a uh, birthday is a good time to say that whether you are near or far away, you're very, very special. Happy birthday. Um, Tira and Scott, thank you very much, uh, guys. <laughs> they, post, they posted that they were going to send that on my Facebook, and, and, uh, and I, always in, I enjoy the, uh, uh, the communication back and forth. All right, um, I'm going to set this one off to the side, this, but almost every one of these is marked what's in your box, and this one here is fragile. It's pretty light for its size, but we'll set that off to the side, and we'll look at that one in a little bit. Okay, now this one, this one here, been <laughs> this one here has got my attention here, uh, it, because it says uh, Noga from Israel. All right, and it says Turn Right Machine Works, care of Keith Fenner. So I wanted to open this up and see what I'm going to be in care of. Hey, that was uh, that was slim cuts there, huh? Hi Keith, uh, thanks for your email dated yesterday. I will be glad to uh, send them. Please uh, um, send send me his complete shipping address for his birthday. <laughs> so he sent me a uh, a Noga Noga Magbase, I believe. Here, let's check it out. There we are. There you go, <laughs> 60th birthday, okay, 42 years in the trade, Noga Magbees. <laughs> uh, all right, and the rest of the goodies are in here. All right, let's take a look at the, the shirt here. It's a medium. The original arm, Noga. Hold it by Noga. All right. Um, medium shirt. Looks like uh, it's going to be my wife's size, huh? <laughs> oh, I found a, a card in here. Um, Avi Wadalski. I hope I didn't butcher that too bad there. And he wrote happy birthday on here. And uh, he's it's a Noga card. He's only representative of Noga. Throwing little 
little box here and key key holders. Little quick connects there. Pretty nice. Thank you very much, Xavi. Two round holders and a dovetail holder, so that lets me just about put any indicator I want on the end of there. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday. I just wanted to close that out. Um, this is a joint effort here by Avi and uh, Hollis. And I want to thank you guys very, very much for such a special gift. And uh, all right, let's get on with the rest of this. Okay, we had to, we had to open up uh, three different boxes here because we remember getting uh, uh, Char's tools. The three boxes were sent in. And uh, inside here, we got the information, but let me lay them out. Here we got uh, we got five Acme uh, thread gauges there. We've got a set of uh, edge finders there. Um, there's some small thread gauges there. One, two, three, four, five, and five more uh, 200 thousandths uh, diameter edge finders here. All right, these are sent in from Danny Metzger. Want to thank you very much, Danny, and that that is a good assortment. He he actually contacted me and found it. He asked me what we what we needed, and uh, I knew definitely we needed some Acme thread gauges. We didn't have any of those uh, left to put into uh, toolboxes, and we're always looking for edge finders and center finders, and uh, so he's, he filled that in. And then he also added in some uh, thread gauges here. And um, these are Whitworth here. 55 degree thread gauges there. Uh, so there's, there's a good assortment of some additions to the toolbox. Thank you very much, Danny. Okay, let's just take this one here. And this is from Christopher Dumont. Mr. Fenner, in closing my contribution towards the 2017 What's in Your Box giveaway. The first item is the finger plate that I made for Emma Ritson's tool making competition earlier this year. I teleported it into your shop at the end of, of the build video, and here's the link to his video. I've also enclosed five Starrett scribes to help fill out other boxes. Thank you for the great job of putting on this wonderful competition. Uh, best regards, Chris, aka Shadow Dog 500 on YouTube. That's pretty awesome. Some nice workmanship right there. Very nice, Chris.
Very nice pocket scribe. Starrett's very nice. Nice job, Chris. And uh, be sure to uh, catch this video. I know I'm going to be catching it now. Um, and here's the link. Awesome. Okay, uh, next one here is from Daniel Foster. Hi Keith, we are proud and happy to contribute these knurling handles with countersinks to watching your box. Uh, these are for handy burning and work well for us. Gary and Daniel Foster, Bowling Springs, South Carolina. Oh, those are sweet. Very nice. Very nice. Nice knurl job. Pretty cool. Okay, our next one here, Robert Fearing. I think that's glued down. Brown and sharp small tools. Well, there's some, a lot of. I had a large. Uh, Gob of extra monkey shit. <laughs> More than I expected to use in my next ten years. I'm <laughs> I'm going ninety years now. This is this is good stuff. It's been sticky for over forty years. I made these crude boxes last year. I used some to hold a floppy shaft coupling in position while assembling my house heating uh, circulating pump along. Also encloses a uh, check to help cost of the box shipping. There appears to be plenty of extra tools out there. I admire the effort that Double Boost applies to to give away his extras. He gets his dog to help. He is able to share hoarders. I I could name a few. Bob Fearing. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Thank you, Bob, for a nice check there. <laughs> Little boxes of monkey shit, huh? <laughs> MS on it. <laughs> uh, 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 all right, and and uh, open case uh, care bits are extremely sharp and can puncture skin instantly. <laughs> uh, see if I can figure out how to open it. There we go. That them are teeny tiny. Teeny tiny. <laughs> that <laughs> uh very good, very good. <laughs> Bob, that that's so cool. <laughs> Okay, our next one here is from Emma Ritson, all the way from Australia. Uh, 
Alrighty. Nice and shiny in here. A little oily, I can feel that. Awesome little labels you got there, Emma, and what a nice little <laughs> Look at that little tap handle. Beautiful little job. Alright, just had a customer pop in. Emma, those are those are really nice looking little mini tap handles. That's pretty cool. And unique little holders for them. Really nice. Pretty cool. Okay, uh, next one here is from uh, Randy Richard. I'm just looking in here because I can see a slit right there. Keith, uh, here are four brass scribes for what's in your box. Hope this helps. Thank you, Randy. P.S. And one for you also, stainless. All right. Excellent. Very nice job. Wow. This one even says Keith on it. <laughs> hey, that's pretty cool engraving on around there. That's nice. Okay. Um I went ahead and I opened up one of the other boxes here. And these are these are brass and Randy Richard in the shop. And the serial number USA. What's in your box? 2017. It's all engraved in on there. It's a beautiful job there, Randy. And this this uh, this engraved. He does get. He's got that engraving down pat there. That's pretty cool. All right. And uh, of course, I I really do appreciate you making this one for me. Awesome. Nice job, Randy. Thank you very much. All right, our next one here, Chris, Chris Beglin. Keith, in, in uh, excuse this quick scribble. <laughs> I found the enclosed... Uh, T-type holders, and pretty sure they belong to that my Ford vertical slide. I think some some while ago. Perhaps you can check and put them with it. Hopefully, you enjoyed a very enjoyable trip. Uh, all the best, Chris. All right, Chris. Let's. Take a look at what 
he threw in there. Oh, it's like T T clamp bolts. Okay, Chris, we'll we'll see if uh, if those do go with that cross slide when we when we get that out, and uh, if it uh, goes along with it, we'll we'll that's what we'll do. We'll put it with it. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, this next one here is um, looks like Royal Mail here. Um, DX Commander sticker on here, but it just says Mr. Keith Spinner uh, watching your box. So, see what we got in here. Nice, nice. Got four uh, rules in there. DX Commander is the head title up here. Um, Dear Keith, what's in your box giveaway? I accidentally bumped into your channel about a year ago. You inspired me to buy a drill press and some very simple engineering tools which allowed me to make some prototype components for my hobby business, ham radio aerials. Prior to production, I am genuinely a hobby engineer and will never have the time to become an accomplished as most of your viewers. Be assured your inspiration is active. Your efforts will no doubt change the lives of some people. That is one hell of an achievement. Please find enclosed four times uh, cheap and cheerful flexible steel rules for the giveaway as a very small token of my appreciation for keeping me sane. Clearly these are not super high quality. However, if your nominees are anything like me, they'll always need a few plat basic rules around their shop. It's been a pleasure. You keep me company. It's been a pleasure you keeping me company. Thank you. Kind regards from England. Callum. Thank you very much, Callum. Excellent. And, yes, yes, the, there is very much a need for flexible steel rules. And um, some people do uh, use the millimeters. Very nice. Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay, our next one here is from uh, Tom A. Knopp. Hope I pronounced that right. Hey Keith, I enjoy your videos and what you do for machine welding fabricating community. I am just getting back into machining and that's that's how I found your videos. I also just started a YouTube channel called Hilltop Machine Works to help get my name out there and to and to do my part. I made two boring head cutters to be added to the stuff given away with this year's What's in Your Box. Uh, I also made a video of them being made, and uh, here's the link on that video. Thanks, and keep up the good work, Tom Knob. Uh, P.S. If you decide to make an East Coast uh, road trip, let me know so you can stop <laughs> stop by. All right, and sticker for me. So I got a new sticker, Hilltop Machine Works. Cool. Um, so I'll be adding that to my uh, box collection over there. And let's take a look at his uh, boring head cutter here. And he puts in a business card and a sticker. Very nice, very nice. Very nice, Tom. Okay, our next box here, uh, Mike Yamarino. Hi, Keith. Just something, some uh, 
rudimentary basic <laughs> items to help with the cause in the what's in your box giveaway sorry i can't do better i see some really great machinist tools donated from all over wish i could do the same thanks for future videos best wishes to all happy uh, early holidays mike I don't know, Mike. You always do a good job here, huh? There's three squares right there. There's a little flashlight. Another one. Chip brushes. Scribers. There's another flashlight. Acid brushes. Nice for oil cans. There's another package of them. A couple general scales. Another one there. What do you mean? Those are, those are <laughs> these are every bit as important as everything else that's been coming in here. Okay, and in here is inspection mirrors. Very nice. Two of them in this one package right here. That's awesome, Mike. Thank you very much. All right, uh, next one here from uh, Matthew Slossom. I, I, I think that's it's hard to read the felt marker writing here. Not that even I could pronounce it right if I did see it exactly right, but. Hi Keith, please add these uh, Oilers to your What's in Your Box giveaway. I enjoy your videos. Best regards, Matthew Slauson. All right, Matthew, let's see. Wow. Got oil? <laughs> Pretty cool. Okay, this next one is from uh, Mark Monson. Craftsman set of um, uh, adjustable parallels. Outside micrometer, made in China, it says. Yep, two to three. We have a brown and sharp little test indicator. Combination square set and Here's the center head. There we go. Another uh, another test indicator. It says uh, depth micrometer zero to four. There we go. And the one can, the, the zero to one can stay in there. All right. And a pair of uh, dial calipers. Very nice.
Thank you very much, Mark. Okay, next box uh, here from Bob Mayer. That had a little catch on it. I accidentally got, grabbed that. This is a little miniature surface gauge. And the original box. That is that's a sweet little toy there. And an extra or shorter bar. That is cool. Oh, and those tabs actually that lifts straight off the top there so my bad machinist uh, craftsman machinist square kit that's scale everything's in here that's awesome Tumiko depth mic set. One to three. That's a beautiful set right there. Okay, this is the inside micrometer set. That's the hold down. There's the thimble. The foam, the foam looks like it's, it's gone out of this thing. But, looks like all the components are in here. There we go. There. That's where the half goes, that's where that goes. All the components are in there, and it's just missing the foam. That's a beautiful set right there. Four inch, four inch adapter there, but you can put four, so I forget what, this might. Four and two, so this is a, this is a uh, eight inch, uh, inch and a half, inch and a half to uh, eight inch central tool inside micrometer that's beauty that is a beauty this looks like a small set of bead blocks okay now here's another box it's just like that craftsman box I don't know why I didn't see that and they are in here. Machinist Jack. There we are.
Bob, the, what a fantastic uh, send there. Thank you very much. All right, I had to open this up here. This is the uh, Craftsman uh, Combination Square Set. The, that's brand new. I remember, I actually, my very first Combination Square Set was a Craftsman, and I remember when it looked like this. I did buy it brand new, and uh, of course it doesn't look like that, but I still have it. Um, and of course, this is this is great job, Bob. You, this is excellent. Nice inside micrometer set, depth mic, V-blocks, jack, surface gauge nice job thank you all right uh, next one here is uh, Brian Koenig Dear Keith, in close, please find my contribution for a 2017 What's in Your Box Toolbox giveaway. I have been a fan of your videos ever since Mr. Pete gave you a shout out a few years ago. Hopefully these three micrometers in this package will help fill the need of the giveaway. I am very grateful to you for your work on the giveaway and your videos. You are truly helping to pass on this trade along future generations. Thanks for all you do. Sincerely, Brian. All right, Brian, let's see what you got here. <laughs> well, they definitely wrapped up nice. Very nice. That's a two to two, one to two, I think. Okay. Another one to two, one to two. That must be a two to three. One to two, and zero to one. Nice. Okay, we got a set here. Very nice, Brian. Okay, uh, this one here, uh, Robert Wysisko. Oh, nice job. <laughs> All right. Brown and Sharp thread wire kits. Excellent job. Excellent job. Okay, you lower conversion charts in here. PD th thread chart. <laughs> Acme threads in there. Nice. Looks like uh, a copy from the PD um, thread manufacturer. And uh, nice set. These are all radius on the ends. Very nice set. Brown and sharp. They did a good job. Excellent find there, Robert. All right, uh, Jay De Silvestro. I always, I guess, I stumble on your name every time. He's uh, sent in several items couple years in a row here
Duct tape. <laughs> Hello, Keith. Uh, here are some items for the What's in Your Box Toolbox giveaway, which is the event of the season. Merry Christmas to you and Vanessa. Thanks for all the work you do and put into this. Jim. Thank you very much, Jim. Fowler. Digital calipers. Two Sturridge scales. Steel rules, two of them, both the same here. I can see by the numbers there. Sterrets, very nice. Excellent. Nice job, Jim. Okay, this next one here is Austin Thompson. Open that side, okay. <laughs> we can do that. That's just wrapping, that's just wrapping, that's just wrapping. Okay. Oh, you had to date it, uh, November 11th. <laughs> uh, I hope you and your family are okay. This is my contribution to the What's in Your Box uh, giveaway. I've sent three tape measures, two chisels, three center punch holders, and a quarter-inch set of numbers and letter stamps. I would like to request that one of the chisels slash center punch holders be kept with the quarter-inch number and letter stamp set. I would also like to request that the other chisel center punch holder be kept with the one eighth number and letter set I sent in last year that got overlooked and saved for this year's giveaway. I would like for the holders to be used in with the stamps. I'm sure you have experience hitting your hand and or fingers trying to hold the stamp to uh, hit them or experience the stamp flying across the shop after being hit off a little bit. These are just requests you do as you see fit thank you so much for all you do you put so much into the giveaway i'd also like to thank mrs vanessa for her part in the project thanks for the videos and the wisdom you share i hope you enjoy your trip uh, with vince i i also hope uh, you and your family have a good thanksgiving and a merry christmas and a happy new year thank you austin thompson awesome okay and uh good eye uh, uh just noting that uh you know we Every year, you know, some things will fill up the boxes and, and some things don't. I don't remember if I actually had a number of letter set in there last year, but I do have all the stuff that wasn't given. All right, this has actually got the number and letters all in, all in one set right here, including the period or the point, decimal point. Very nice. Okay. And uh, two tape measures, three tape measures. Uh huh. Is that a holder? That must be a holder for. Okay, I got it now.
And here's the other one. Awesome. Okay. Cool. And firewood. Or kindling. <laughs> uh, awesome. Thanks, Thompson. Okay, our next uh, package here is from Hammond Genies. I, I just remember that, that name being corrected there last year. <coughs> and tape almost held up on this, uh, this box here, but uh, everything did make it through here pretty good. Wow. Definitely a heavy box there. All right. Keith, hope this parcel finds you and Vanessa healthy and full of projects. Um, hope your foot get better. They are. They, they really have been feeling really good. You'll find my modest contribution to the giveaway. I'm sure you'll find a good home for these tools. Keep up the good work. It is full of inspiration and knowledge for all of us. Best regards from France. <laughs> Don't worry for spelling that bad. <laughs> Genie's Ham Hamlin, <laughs> very good. All right, and we got some uh, we got some thread uh, gauges here. Plenty of thread gauges. Got an inspection mirror. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, twenty-four inch scales. One, two, three, four, five scribers, and pin punch, eight piece pin punch set. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. Thank you very much, genies. <laughs> okay, this one here, what's in your box? Fragile. And this is from Zombie Airbrush. I think we might have to widen this angle here. Okay, just in case anything pops out of here. <laughs> you know, this is extremely light, too. All right, right under the front here. Hi, Keith. Been watching your videos for years. Not much of a commenter, though. So the story on the hard hats, I airbrushed to relax and decided to do some hard hats for my customers and give away instead of baseball bats by the way I have a small company that cuts holes up to 16 inch in live water lines so I thought a, a good accessory for machinists would be a welding helmet I didn't have any so I had hard hats and painted these up I know I'm late but next year I'll do welding helmets and nope I don't sell these I had fun painting these, love painting the old school flake and zombie apocalypse stuff. I did a dune bug hood with a zombie on it, got stuck with a zombie name. He sold the dune buggy two weeks later. Rrr. Keep up the <laughs> keep up the videos coming, zombie airbrush. <laughs> YouTube, Zombie Airbrush, Twitter, Zombie Airbrush, uh, Twitch, uh, Zombie Airbrush, Instagram, Zombie Airbrush. Okay, so let's see. 
I had a feeling it was gonna be something. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, this is too much, huh? Uh, we'll weld for beer. Um, always listen to experts. They'll tell you what can't be done while, while then do it. Uh, the promise of some machinists are pure fabrication. Walk to talk. <laughs> uh, around to it there. Uh, turn right. What's in your box? You keep what's, uh... In the vice, a zombie disposal unit, zombie constant, uh, zombie outbreak, guaranteed zone, and get her done. All right, I'm at the, I'm at the to walk you around the, the, the helmet there, and uh, they're all just a little bit different. Uh, the fresh smell of airbrush too, huh? This is really cool. All right, so each one of them is a little different, but they got. Uh, let's see if you can. Let's see if you can get this in here. I'm gonna zoom this in a little bit. Okay, I'm just gonna go around this hat here. So you got the getter done on the front there, and you can see it says uh, you keep what's in the vice Ave zombie outbreak here zombie uh, containment. Uh, machinist by day, zombie by night. Okay, this side here. Will weld for beer. What's in your boxes on the top here? Turn right. All right. And get around to it over here. Walk the talk right there. The promises of some machinists are pure fabrication. <laughs> <laughs> always listen to experts they'll tell you what can't be done and why then do it <laughs> all right all just a little bit different colors okay that's um cool fun stuff i like when it mixes in with uh the tools that are sent in and everything and and uh great work on the helmets they are they are they're they're pretty to look at and beautiful they're funny um and they're functional as well and uh yeah the i'll, I'll uh, be putting them in you know almost every shop that i've ever worked in as a machinist you you did have to have a hard hat and if you didn't if you didn't have to wear it at the machine you you actually had to have it grab it and, and wear it while you were walking through the plant so uh, that was quite common in the uh, in the shipyards, and of course, when you're ship bound or you're out in the work field, uh, taking measurements or dimensions or whatever, you you definitely needed a hard hat as well. So um, that's cool. I'm looking forward to welding helmets next year. All right, I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold you to it. I, I'm sure the the rest of uh, the nominees would love to have a nice welding helmet done this way as well. All right, all right. We're just waiting for our guests to show up. All right, uh, my special guest finally showed up. So we have Phil DeJardin and we have uh, Pierre Beaudry. And, uh, and they've come down with, uh, they, they've been on the road since 8 o'clock this morning. Yeah, and uh, nobody wants to sit down right now. <laughs> <laughs> so they brought down a, a, a few things here. And, uh, you know, look at this. I, you know, got my name on there. And uh, I'm going to open this up here. Is this the first year you're gonna uh, win the uh, one of the chest? Yeah, I might. I might. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna throw my name in there. That's Actually, it, I'm it, doing pretty good without throwing my name in yeah, there. That's so. it, it. <laughs> this it is really special. That it actually there's a lot of things that are made for the toolbox giveaway over yeah. the years, and uh, and I opened some fantastic. I did Emma's uh, today, and uh, we had a couple other. Um, uh, Rand, Randy Richards Randy was in Lee. today, you know, in, in the group that I opened today. But oh, okay, we, we yeah. you know, we have a lot of others. And uh, but you guys come down here and you, you gave me the knurling uh, yeah. attachment there last year. Yeah. And now that I have the nice little lathe there, I'll not, it'll be an accessory that goes in on cool. that lathe there. And uh, so anyway, this is uh, this is a beautiful little screw jack. And now 
you guys that were involved in this, but uh, Murray, the winner from last year, mm -hmm. did the boxes. Yeah. And uh, also, uh, since we're on the subject of Murray, uh, his class at the Rosemont Technology Center uh, built you a pair of jacks. Okay. Also to include. Now these look like they're heat treated. Uh, I'm presuming they are. Uh, or or blue a, is. I don't know if they've been heat treated. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. So uh, his class uh, made these up for you and. Uh, all right, I'm going to interrupt the uh, pre-recorded video here shortly. When Phil, Pierre, and, and the girls and I were on our way to uh, go down to Masaki's and have some sushi dinner, um, I received a text there on Messenger from uh, uh, Murray. And uh, I just want to um, read his text to you and recognize... Uh, his involvement and also the his classmates uh, from Rosemont Technology Center and uh, personally thank thank all of you for your efforts in on the screw jacks here and they are fantastic I love the handles on them they look just like vice handles and uh, and the workmanship is is excellent on these if that wasn't expressed in the uh, regular video as well um, all right, it says, hi, Keith. I wanted to get a note with, in with Pierre and Phil's delivery, but uh, life intervened, so instead I'll message you here. And I wanted to thank you from the bottom of my heart for the What's in Your Box and the amazing boost it has given to my educational experience. Having these tools, many which I have, uh, I have still, I still haven't used and are waiting in res reserve for my real apprentice and, and and later yet, it's fantastic to make it make every day in the in the shop more pleasant. But that's not all. Not a, not by a long shot. Being dream worthy to receive an amazing gift has also connected me with the wonder wondrous worldwide machining community and makes every day better, whether I'm in the shop or not. My classmates at Rosemont uh, Technology Center. We're also proud to contribute to the screw jack sets Phil is bringing down. Uh, while they are nothing as amazing as Phil and Pierre's work of art, I hope they are good enough to contribute to a, a new machinist career. I would like to pass on a vote from uh, our class collectively when time comes, if that's okay with you. That's perfectly okay, and uh, you guys can collectively uh, send me a vote. Uh, That'd be great, Murray. Thank you very much. Just to update you, I have now completed the conventional machining curriculum uh, without a single failed test. We're now learning the basics of the G-code, which is going to is going well too. In fact, I have snuck ahead of the curriculum and written a completely uh, automatic tech drilling routine that only requires the drill diameter and the target depth to be specified, and optionally the extra pull out distance which is a hundred thousandths by default and will peck drill whatever hole is needed. My instructor, the name, <coughs> uh, the same one who appeared in my video said that's very impressive. Now take it out of your assignment. Now take it out of your assignment, please. <laughs> uh, all the best uh, to you and Vanessa and I'm looking forward to this year's giveaway. Oh yes, one more thing. The boxes I I made are are crafted out of red maple harvest off a farm on Ontario about ten years ago. Um, the wood is donated to Helos Make Makerspace about two years ago and has been sitting waiting for a suitable project even ever since. Helos was delighted to contribute this wood for this project. I also wanted to acknowledge my partner Dean Nardo. Uh, for her expertise and help in making the boxes. I couldn't have done it without her. Excellent. I hope I pronounced her name right there. Um, and and I'm glad that you actually sent me this because it, it, it puts it puts more behind what you what you sent in here and, and everybody involved. Thank you very much for what you guys helped with the wood and also the extra set here. Okay, back to our regular uh, um, recorded program. A, ni a nice set too. That's, uh, that's yeah. pretty. Yeah, uh, it's pretty sweet too. Yeah, n nice little little stop there. And when you, once you get some really nicely done uh, handmade tools, I mean it's uh, 
hard to beat than just uh, going by and shop for stuff or something. I don't know. This goes on there, I think. Maybe, oh, maybe you pick the screw out in this. Okay. I'm not uh, quite sure. Yeah, I yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think that'll fit on the shaft that's there. So by taking the screw okay, out, you can fit okay. those yeah. and have a different... Uh, yeah, we're just a shipping company. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, you guys did good. It all got here, so... Um, like the UPS, the ultimate... No, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so anyway, they're... they're uh, what the what material alloys did you use on these? Uh, that's forty three forty heat treated, uh -huh. um, and it's uh, an experience. If you've never worked with this uh, from the beginner's point of view, uh, uh, really tough stuff, and it's got its own challenges. Um, Feels beautiful. Yeah, we built though. spacers. Uh, the mm -hmm. finish is phenomenal. I uh, got some spacers. Um, yeah, little rods so you yeah. can uh, crank it up. Well, sometimes you sometimes you're in there and you got it so far under your pods that you you can't get in. You yeah. know, you you need to you need well, to, be able to tighten that up. You, you, you use it. It's a jack. You use it to snug up mm -hmm. against something. Mm -hmm. and you're not going to lift the car with it. Mm -hmm. So it's it's just a nice little way of uh, doing it. Uh, the starrett parts, if those who have the little starrett jacks, uh, will uh, operate on these also. So uh, that's just a. That's nice, and, and you can also make special tooling where you yeah, register you can, it with this, and make yeah. it a long foot, whatever. If you're Collect, trying to, uh, yeah, you can you make know. whatever you need. Uh, something that'll bridge yeah. the gap in your bed, or something mm -hmm. that locks into the bed, yeah. or whatever. Well, even welding fabrication, I've used it to support yeah. things so that the wall doesn't pull or whatever, and yeah, let it yeah, let it yeah, normalize yeah, yeah. in there or support it. And because sometimes you're hanging out in the middle of somewhere, and the basis is there. Yeah, just, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, you know, to me as uh, somebody who's like, I. Did I officially make it past the second year apprentice thing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess, uh, I guess you. All right, thank you. Right? You're, getting, you're getting pretty good. No, you're but learning no. for the good. To me, to me, this whoever gets these, it's a fun part because it's something you can build with. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a mechano set. You could just you create whatever you need for your situation, which yeah. is such a big part of machining, is being yeah. able to come up with something that will work for yeah. the work you need to do. I and it's just a start point. Uh, these, sorry, these will also fit underneath the height of the standard uh, Kirk type vise. Okay. Uh, there's about a quarter inch of clearance, so you can Okay, with or without the swivel base? Uh, <laughs> without the swivel base. <laughs> without the swivel base. No, just as is. Yeah. Uh, as is, it'll clear. Uh, okay. Make sure that uh, you know they, they clear that. That that's very important because sometimes I'm doing flat bar and yeah. I got it in there and it, you need to support it and yeah, it's out it, three it, foot on this side and you're yeah. only working a foot on this yeah, side here. So, but uh, yeah. I made sure they fit the, yeah. the standard. Even okay. Device. Yeah. Even you don't you don't have to go very far besides the uh, no. device before you need to support. Oh. Oh. Device. Yeah. 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 Well, well even you put that there and then you can toe clamp down on top yeah. of it, so yeah. you yeah. you got a long yeah, run. Very, so. uh, very yeah. Very steady support. Yeah. That's what you need to do. Uh, yeah. You know, so. good uh, mm -hmm. parts because otherwise if you don't get support. Then, uh, yeah. You don't wish you need yeah. 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 That's um, awesome. And uh, you got uh, four. Yeah, for we the brought four for the giveaway. Okay. For you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know what? It's it's always a pleasure for, for Pierre and myself to, to make something for this awesome cause mm -hmm. uh, you put together. And uh, yeah, he, he moans and groans once in a while when I come up with stuff like this. <laughs> but that's okay. He, he's patient enough, mm -hmm. and he's uh, he helps me out. Uh, he wants yeah. Some advice and, uh, well, you pull you you pull out a really nice product here well, too, you. and and um, uh, but I mean keeping it a a, a useful tool, you well, know, and, and that, that's yeah. that's what's really that's real, you know. I, the first time I sat, start doing videos and uh, and you see me with a screw jack in against the the lathe yeah. chuck, you know, yeah. and people going, hey, you know, it's it, it's all relative to the pressure that you're putting against it, yeah. you know, and, and, and it can and, also and, the, speed that you spin and the, the speed chuck. that you spin <laughs> it around exactly, <laughs> exactly. Well, you know, that, I didn't put it up to a thousand RPMs, you know, so and the percussion you're gonna <laughs> need to just keep it. In yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> but there's always a way to yeah. Operate safely something that looks pretty uh, yeah. airy a little bit, mm -hmm. but uh, you know, there's a, a way to make it mm -hmm. safe. I worked a lot of vertical lays in the in the shipyards where we we're doing split line pump housings mm -hmm. and things like that. And sometimes when you got that that dome cap on there, yeah. you have nothing but that flange, so you got to support it like yeah. that, and then yeah. toe yeah. clamp, you know, down. And sometimes actually <coughs> you had uh, jack screws, and you'd actually you'd almost put a bolt and use the use the toe clamp upside down, holding it down. Yeah. And uh, but screw jacks, and it didn't matter if the laid chuck was fell off the face or if it was up like this. Yeah. You still have that centrifugal force that you have to contend with. So. Yeah. Uh, so, um, Once it start turning, it wants to go away. Yep, yeah, 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 yeah. And so. you don't want to be in its way. No, no, you don't, no. Uh, that or chips. Oh, my first, mm. my, uh, my, I think my biggest mistake I made was uh, forgetting the, uh, what do you call it, uh, 
parallel, parallel yeah. bar yeah. and starting the, the leg. Oh, okay. That yeah. Is a bang That'll fly out like a chuck key. And you remember, <laughs> but you remember. It. Yeah, you remember. yeah, you don't exactly. Do it you don't do it again. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, all right, guys, I uh, appreciate you coming down and, right. and uh, you know, we're going to, yeah, we're going to do sushi right. now. <laughs> <laughs> Eric makes the most amazing sushi. It's worth the drive. <laughs> it's worth a 12 hour drive there and back. And by uh, the way, Eric's, uh, Eric's uh, teeth son is. Uh, yeah, yeah, we got. Uh, He's waiting for us, I guess. Yeah, we got eight o'clock reservation, so we got about an hour and ten minutes to get there. So perfect. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't know you were uh, we were walking there. <laughs> 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 uh, all right, uh, what a great, great conclusion to the last. This is the last viewing video of of tools for the giveaway before cool. before we put out this and. Uh, um, you guys are. I'll be anxious for your um, yeah, your we'll your your, your judging. Yeah. I'm asking for three, top three okay. uh, of what we have. We actually have 13. I went through those earlier. We have actually have 13, 13. No nominations now. I got the rest of them um, up on the website okay. and also in the playlist, so yeah, everybody can look at those. And um, I'll get you that. And you. everybody out there, uh, just a reminder: if you have uh, sponsored. Uh, my my channel, my website, uh, at all. You are an eligible judge, um, and if you've donated any tools in here throughout this year, last year, the year before, uh, you are also eligible to be a judge. And I'm just looking for the top three uh, nominations of your choice, and then email that in to turnrightmachine at comcast.net. All right. Until next uh, video, there. Get, Get it done. done.